Technology and all is welcome to Bet with Al for Saturday, January the 21st. We are looking at your weekly statistics for the week ending Wednesday, January 18th, and we're looking for a track where we have a high probability of coming out ahead by looking at our percent of the money, percent win rate, and percent place. Here we go. At product 45 phases, we have 56% in the money, 22% win rate, and 24% place. Charlestown with 36 phases. 72% in the money, 36% win rate, 8% place, down to downs, 37 races, 41% in the money, 22% win rate, and 16% place. We have a feature where we can simply click on the column header to do a sort on that particular column. Here we go. Tampa Bay Downs with 38 races, we have 74% in the money with 42% win rate and 26% place. Charlestown. We have 72% in the money, 36% win rate in the Hoeing Valley, 66% in the money, and 25% win rate. We can do the same thing with the win column or any of these other columns. Let's see the win column here. Tampa Bay Downs, we have 42% in the money, 74% uh, uh, in the money, 42% win rate. Los Alamitos, 56% in the money, 39% win rate. And fairgrounds we have thirty eight percent win rate, Charlestown thirty six percent win rate. Um, this week let's uh, see if we can find a race here. Temp Bay Downs we, where we are seventy four percent in the money and forty two percent win rate. Let's go to our rankings and we're looking for Temp Bay Downs. Temp Bay Downs and we look for January the twenty first. Here we go. Now we look for a race where we have a high probability of coming out ahead by looking at our ranking numbers and we're looking for a big gap uh, in the top three here. We're looking for a horse that stands out from the rest of the field. So here we go. Uh, race number one, 24.25, 29, 17.25, 12.25. There's actually a nice big gap between the four horse and the eight horse. Now let's take a quick look and see what kind of a race number one is. Race number one is a claimer for four year olds for four year olds and up and a purse of fifteen thousand two hundred. So now with crush ran on December the seventeenth with a seven to eight buy rating. Okay, so now we'll crush. And we have him pick on top. Okay, we'll keep uh, this race in mind and we'll go on to race number two. Race number two, twenty one, twenty five, sixteen. 75, 15, 13, 75. Again, there's a nice big gap between 5 horse and 7 horse. Let's take a quick look at this one. 7 furlongs to claim a race for 4 years old and up. And we've got a blue storm. Ran on August the 4th last year with an 82 buyer rating. The blue storm. Uh, we actually have him picked fourth. Okay. So, um,. Let's keep race number two in mind anyway. So we have one and two already uh, because of these nice big gaps here between the six, five horse and the seven horse. Uh, any one of these horses can come in first. Uh, let's go on to race number three. Race number three, 26, 25, 25, 75, 24, 5, 21, 25. There's no big gap here. So we're going to skip back to race number three, go on to race number four. 20, 75, 16, 15, 5, 14, 75. That's a nice gap here between the 10 and the 4 horse. Let's take a quick look and see what the number 4 horse is about. It's a claimer again, Mount 16 for 4 years old and up. And Island Dude ran October the 10th uh, with a 78 buy rating. Okay. Uh, let's keep race number four in mind. So we have one, two, and four. We're going to race number five. Race number five. There's a real nice big gap here between the 11 horse and the rest of the field. 23, 25, 14.5, 14. Let's see what kind of race number five is. There's some real nice races here. This is a claim of six furlongs for four years old and up. And we tried Chesapeake Bay uh, Spring. Ran uh, August the 8th with a 72 buy rating. Okay, just speak spring. We have him big first. Um, this is actually a very nice race here between the 11 and the rest of the field. He really stands out. 
All right, let's take a look at race number six. Race number six again. Uh, 23, 25, 12, 25, 11.5. This horse really stands out. However, it is a maiden race, as can be seen by these first time starters that are indicated by a little asterisk. And we like to stay away from first time starters and maiden races with first time starters. All right, because they're very, uh, they're not very predictable. So we're going to skip race number six, go on to race number seven, 28, 75, 27, 20, 25. 18.25. Again, there's a nice big cap between the 3 and the 8 horse. Let's take a quick look and see how race number 7 is about. Royal Jewelry ran January 8th. Uh, that's just uh, a few weeks ago. Alright, with a 91 buy rating, a mile and 16th, and it's uh, way worth last. It's a stakes race with $50,000 for 4 years old and up. All right, royal jewelry. Hmm. We actually better horses here. Uh, race number seven. Twenty-eight, seventy-five, twenty-seven, twenty-five. This is a nice race, actually, uh, to handicap. So let's keep race number seven in mind. Let's come to race number eight. Race number eight. Twenty-one, seventy-five, nineteen, eighteen. No pick up here, uh, so we're going to skip race number 8 and go on to race number 9. 30, 25, 22, 25, 19, 75, 19, 25. A nice big gap here. So we're going to take a quick look at race number 9. It's another stakes race with a purse of 100,000 for 3 year olds. Um, our angel Caitlin ran November. Uh, with a 78 by rate, reading at the 6.5 for a long distance. Alright, here's number 9. Uh, we have our angel Caitlin, and uh, we got her picked up. Uh, picked second, uh, I mean, picked first uh, with program number 2. Uh, she's coming out of the 2 hole. Let's keep race number 9 in mind and go on to race number 10. Race number 10, 26, 5, and 3, 75, 14, 25, 13, 25. Again, there's a nice big cup between the 10 horse and the rest of the field. The 8 horse is 13, 25. Let's take a quick look. There are some nice races here. That's allowance race with a purse of 22, 500 for 4 years old and up. And uh, this horse she ran uh, July the 17th with a 101 by a rating uh, at the 9 furlong. So let's take a quick look here. Okay, race number ten is very nice too. Um, race number eleven, sixteen twenty-five, ten seventy-five, eight seventy-five. Uh, there's a nice gap between the five horse and nine horse and the two horse. Uh, this is a medium race again, as can be indicated by this little asterisk, and we're going to stay away from this race. All right, we've got a lot of races to uh, pick from this time, um, this week. Uh, let's um, let's go to race number nine this week. Yeah, there's a nice big number here, with thirty twenty-five, and a nice big gap between the thirty twenty-five and the five, almost twelve points here. Um, so this week, let's go to race number nine, which I think is a stakes race. Yeah, it's a stakes race with $100,000 for three-year-olds. All right. So this week we're going to go to race number nine at Tampa Bay Downs. And for those people that have a premium membership, I'll be doing in-depth analysis of race number nine. So I hope to see you on the inside at horseraceadvantage.com, Tampa Bay Downs, race nine.